Highly mobile rocket artillery system produced by Lockheed Martin missiles and fire control, the MLRS M270 is a multiple rocket launch system with combat experience. Bahrain, Finland, Egypt, France, Germany, Greece, Israel, Italy, Saudi Arabia, Japan, South Korea, Turkey, the US and the UK all have MLRS systems in use with their armed services. A multinational collaboration of firms from France, Germany, Italy and the UK are also building the system in Europe. In support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, MLRS was deployed in 2003. In February 2011, after placing a $22.1 million purchase for M270 launcher upgrade kits, the U.S. Army began using the modified M270A1 launchers and the new ATACMS Quick Reaction Unitary Missile. How powerful is this rocket launcher system? Hey guys, welcome to our channel Future Warplanes, where we tell you about military fighter jets, military drones, military planes from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world, and in addition for latest episodes, we will be covering all military defense news. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. As of 1983, the US Army has been using the M270 MLRS. 2003 was the end of this vehicle's production. For the US military and export clients, approximately 1,300 of these systems were manufactured. The American Army and Marine Corps received 991 launcher vehicles in total. The M142 HIMARS system, however, was ultimately adopted by the US Marines as a more flexible alternative. In May 2011, the Finnish Army placed an order for the $45.3 million upgrading of its 22 M270 MLRS launchers. The modification enabled the MLRS to fire precise GPS-guided munitions by integrating the Universal Fire Control System. In April 2019, the U.S. Army awarded a $362 million contract to Lockheed Martin to update 50 MLRS launcher systems to the most recent configuration. The U.S. Army intends to modify 225 M270A1 launchers and 160 M270A0s that have been retired to the M270A2 standard. To rehabilitate 44 more M270s starting in June 2020, the company obtained a second contract worth $226 million. The M270 MLRS will continue to be modernized to the M270A2 in April 2021 thanks to a $214.7 million contract modification of defense granted to Lockheed Martin missiles and fire control. In April 2021, the British Army unveiled a five-year plan to update the fleet of 44 M270 MLRS launchers it currently has. An armored cab and updated launcher and car parts will be added as part of the upgrade. A vehicle camera and radar system, as well as composite rubber tracks, as well as other country-specific components for the new launchers, will be created in the UK. Together with the US, Finland and Italy, it will also work on developing a new fire control system. The M270 weapons platform serves as the foundation for the High Mobility Autonomous Multiple Launch Rocket System. Surface-to-surface -surface rockets are launched by MLRS along with Army Tactical Missiles. The driver, gunner and section chief are a three-person crew that can launch up to 12 MLRS rockets in less than 60 seconds without leaving the cab. An M270 launcher with 12 rockets packed into two six-rocket pods make up the MLRS launcher unit. It is a highly automated self-loading and self-aiming launcher that is attached to a stretched Bradley chassis. The rocket launching and vehicle operations are integrated by a fire control computer that is within. The rockets can be launched singly or in waves of 2 to 12. Because the launcher is automatically re-aimed by the computer in between rounds, accuracy is preserved in all firing modes. The C-5 transporter aircraft or a railway are two simple ways to get the M270 MLRS to the area of operations. A road speed of 64 km per hour and ideal cross-country mobility are provided by MLRS. 644 M77 munitions are contained in the standard MLRS tactical rocket warhead, which is launched above the target while it is still in the air. Using a straightforward drag ribbon, the dual-purpose bomblets are oriented for impact while in freefall. At distances more than 32 kilometers, each MLRS launcher can fire about 8,000 rounds in less than 60 seconds. Aside from the AT-2, which fires 28 anti-tank mines each round, other mission-oriented rockets include the AT-2, the AT-2, and the reduced-range practice rocket, 
all of which have ranges between 8 and 15 kilometers. In excess of 45 kilometers worth of enhanced munitions are carried by the long-range rocket, which was initially deployed in 1998. One soldier, or even a small crew, can load and unload the launcher thanks to the MLRS computerized fire control system. Both loading and unloading are accomplished using a portable boom control system and cable hook assembly. Using either a human or automatic process, the fire control computer enables firing missions. The selected target data is sent immediately from a command post to the MLRS computer in a typical firing mission. The computer directs the crew to arm and fire a predetermined number of rounds while the launcher is pointed in the right direction. The computer has the ability to pre-program and save numerous mission sequences. The long-range Lockheed Martin Army Tactical System guided missiles are also fired by MLRS. The Block 1, Block 1A, and Block 1A unitary missiles are all members of the ATACMS family. Block 1 transports 950 M74 submunitions the size of a baseball to ranges more than 165 kilometers and was utilized during Operation Desert Storm. By lowering the submunition payload and using GPS guidance, the Block 1A missile increases the range to more than 300 kilometers. In March or April 2003, the Block 1A unitary missile with a single burst payload was first used in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. In February 2004 and January 2005, the U.S. Army awarded two contracts to Lockheed Martin for the manufacturing of the unitary missile. The second contract called for the production of 50 missiles. In February 2003, the plan to create the Block 2A missile with six upgraded BAT submissiles and the Block 2 missile with GPS and 13 BAT submissiles was shelved. An unpowered glider equipped with sound sensors for target detection and infrared sensors for terminal guidance, the BAT submunition is made by Northrop Grumman. It can travel 140 kilometers in maximum range. A new extended range guided MLRS with a range of more than 70 kilometers was developed by Lockheed Martin. The GMLRS XM-30 rocket incorporates a GPS and inertial guidance system as well as small canards on the rocket nose to increase accuracy. System development and demonstration tests for GMLRS were finished in December 2002, and the company started low-rate first production in April 2003. 156 GMLRS rockets were constructed overall for the LRIP-1 contract. Deliveries were finished in May 2005. 840 for the LRIP-2 contract, granted in March 2004, and 1014 for the LRIP-3 contract awarded February 2005. Even though the system's initial operation capability was attained in 2006, it has already been actively deployed in Iraq since September 2005. The UK, Italy, France, Germany, and the US are all participants in the GMLRS, which is an international program. Fiat Avio, Deal, and MBDA are members of the industrial team. The 50,000th GMLRS rocket was produced, reaching a production milestone in January 2021. In March 2021, at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, the Next Generation Extended Range Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System munition was successfully flight tested from the HIMARS launcher of the U.S. Army. The ERGMLRS offers an extended range of up to 150 kilometers and is deployable by the HIMARS and MLRS M270 family of launchers. Lockheed Martin was given a low-rate initial production contract in December 2000 for 66 improved M270A1 launchers that were to be delivered by 2004. Upgraded MLRS launchers to M270 AI improved launcher mechanical systems and improved fire control systems. The M270A1 launcher underwent operational testing before being put into service for the first time in May 2002. The Republic of Korea also awarded Lockheed Martin a foreign military sales contract for the new launchers. Complex armaments and contemporary computer electronics, such as video display, onboard navigation with a global positioning system, architecture for ultra-fast signal processing, and cutting-edge mission software can be carried with more room thanks to the IFCS. Aiming the rocket takes just 16 seconds thanks to ILMS compared to 93 seconds. Reloading takes three as opposed to four minutes now. A zero-time launcher, a new engine, and an enhanced armored cab will be features of the M20A2 configuration. The M20A2 will have compatibility with the HIMARS and the upcoming MLRS family of weapons, thanks to the new common fire control system that will be built into it. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts, and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video.
Thanks for watching.